Hi, this is Miss Torres, and today I am going to read you a story called Rainbow Crow. This is based on a retelling of a Lenape myth. I hope you enjoy. A long time ago, Rainbow Crow played with his friends Owl and Coyote in the forest. Everything around them was warm and green. The friends enjoyed spending time together among the tall trees. Oh, I could stay in the forest forever. It is so wonderful to be here with all of our friends, said Coyote. Crow flew to the nearest branch. His beautiful, colorful feathers shined in the sun. Yes, he sang, this is a lovely place to be. Suddenly, the clouds passed over the bright sun. The forest became dark and cold. Snow began to fall. Soon, a thick blanket of snow and ice covered the beautiful trees and bushes. The animals did not know how to prepare for this kind of weather. They shivered in the freezing wind and became very scared. Owl spoke first. One of us must go and ask Sun for warmth to melt the ice and snow. Who will make the long journey? Coyote shook the snow from his tail before speaking. I, I, I would go, but Sun knows that I play tricks and will not trust me. Also, because I cannot fly. It would take many months for me to get there. Owl hooted in agreement. Hoo, hoo, hoo. You are right, Coyote. You cannot go to the sun. I would make the journey, but I have trouble flying during the day. It would take me too long to fly to the sun if I only fly at night. Coyote and the owl looked at Rainbow Crow. Crow nodded his head. Okay, then I will fly to the sun. I can fly quickly and over a long distance. While I am gone, you must teach the other animals how to be safe in this cold, snowy weather. Coyote and Owl agreed. Rainbow Crow perched on a big rock, ready to fly away. The animals gathered around him and wished him goodbye. Please be careful, shouted Coyote as Rainbow Crow spread his wings and set off on his long journey. Rainbow Crow flew for three days. He flew through heavy snow, fog, and wind. Finally, he reached the fiery warmth of the sun. Crow begged Sun to melt the snow and ice. Oh, please help us, sang Crow to the sun. All the animals in the forest are so cold. All the trees and flowers and plants will freeze in the snow and ice. The sun thought for a long time. Hmm, I cannot bring you my warmth, he finally said. Once the snow falls and ice forms, there is nothing I can do. But... I can give you fire to melt the snow and ice from the earth. Sun found a stick. He lit one end of the stick on fire. Then he gave Crow the other end to hold in his beak. Hurry back to the earth with this stick, said the sun. This fire will be enough to save your friends and all other living things. Crow thanked Sun and turned around to begin his long journey back to earth. But as Crow flew away, he flew too close to Sun, and his tail caught on fire. Rainbow Crow flew back as fast as he could. As he flew, the smoke from the fire covered his wings. Soon, the rainbow colors turned black, like the color of thick smoke. But Rainbow Crow flew on. Finally, he landed on a big rock in the forest. As Rainbow Crow stuck the fiery stick in the ground, the ice and snow began to melt. The animals cheered in celebration. <gasps> you did it! exclaimed Owl, who perched on a branch near Rainbow Crow. Thank you, dear friend, said Coyote. Rainbow Crow opened his beak to sing, but all he could say was, Caw! 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 Oh, I must have lost my singing voice! said Crow sadly. As, as I flew away from the sun, my throat became clogged with smoke from the fiery stick. Now I cannot sing, and my feathers are black as night. Oh, don't be sad, Owl said gently. You saved us. 
We will always remember what you did. We will be proud of your bravery forever. No one will notice your black wings and hoarse voice. And so, it was that the brave Rainbow Crow came to be honored by all living things. Now you are going to practice your reading comprehension skills by retelling the story using the pictures. Feel free to pause the video to answer the questions and then press play when you are ready to move on to the next one. Card one, what are the animals doing? How do they feel when it starts to snow? Card two, who offers to go to sun? Who ends up going to the sun? Card three, what does sun do to help Rainbow Crow? What happens as Rainbow Crow is leaving? Card four, what has happened to Rainbow Crow? How do the animals act when he returns? Thanks for watching The Rainbow Crow.